All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so this video probably won't be very long. It's more of just a PSA, a uh, public service announcement regarding flying when it's hot. So what I'm gonna throw up right now here on the right hand side of my screen are some temperatures local to my specific area. Now I get it, this doesn't go for everybody in every single area, but as you can see, 100 degrees. I believe it's like 99 or 100, 100. Uh, this is what we call here in California a heat wave. Usually anytime you have at least five to seven days of 100 degrees straight, it's kind of considered a heat wave out here. Um, we have dry heat. It's not real humid, which humidity can affect your flight as far as uh, performance, but um, this is more dry heat. And, and why? The whole thing is, why is it dangerous to fly in this kind of heat? And, and the main reason is this little thing right here. This little thing right here, your battery. Um, these batteries, these little lithium batteries that they have for your drone, um, they're definitely not supposed to be heated that much. And already, as if you've, you know, you probably have flown your drone and noticed that when you bring your drone down, no matter what temperature, your battery has a little bit of heat to it. Um, adding any additional heat can definitely cause these things to warp. And once they warp, they are no good. In fact, it could cause your battery to just uh, actually just pop out of your drone just like this, boom, mid-flight. And once that battery pops out, you know what's going to happen. That's an automatic drone crash. And if you don't have your drone uh, near you, or if you, you know, if you can't see exactly where it fell, it could be visual line of sight, but it's kind of far. You see the drone, but you don't even know exactly where it fell. Or if you flew over water, well, you know what happens with that. The drone's going down. So uh, just a PSA, like seriously, uh, if you're gonna fly the heat, like definitely be careful. My suggestion, if you know it's gonna be hot outside, over 100 degrees, um, fly you no know, early morning, uh, maybe late evening, but even late evening out here, um, our temperatures range still around 100 degrees, even at 6 p.m. sometimes. So uh, definitely just be careful when you're flying in the heat. Um, I know I wanted to get some drone shots at this lake I was at uh, just yesterday. But what ended up happening was we got to the lake kind of late. By the time we got there, it was really like noon. Uh, heat was already hitting over 100 because it was 100 yesterday. And it was like just not a good time to fly. Um, I could only imagine flying that thing over around a lake and, you know, the battery again gets overheated and decides it wants to either shut down or just swell up and pop out. There goes your drone. It's gone. So anyway, like I said, um, you know, just got to be safe out there when you're flying. Uh, as far as I know, last time I mentioned about my drone uh, having that little incident where they tried to do the return to home and then kind of had a run in with a fence. So uh, I've have flown my drone since then. It actually does fly well. There is a little bit of noise due to this. I think these got a little scraped up and I think they're a little off balance. I don't think they're as straight as they maybe appear to be by with the eye. So because of that, um, yeah, they definitely need to be replaced. But anyway, man, uh, again, please go ahead and like if you like the content here. Uh, hit that like button go ahead and smash the subscribe button to follow in the notification button so you know exactly when i'm posting more videos and uh hey if you are flying your drone and you've got content out there you like to share consider also doing something like this putting your content on youtube or instagram uh, you can also find my instagram at the west coast flyer it's right here in the uh put it right here on the screen for you all right till next time i'm out Thank you.